And the end turned out pretty okay for the fruit, actually. Not bad. Sold out of a few different varieties. Nothing too wild, but we don't really have a reputation for it either, so... Considering that, and I need to keep in mind, we didn't really have much of a rep for it. We weren't selling very much before. So maybe it's okay. I won't mess with the price for now. We'll see how it goes over the long term. But, uh... Yeah, overall, not too bad. Not too bad at all. The extra garage or extra electronics that I'm ordering, the monitors and VR headsets and all that seems to be working out okay. We kept up with all that. 299 visitors. Less than 300, annoyingly, but 91% hit rate, 272 customers. Average sales, 637. And a basket size of 2.6. Those are quite high. 158,733 projected profit. Very nice. Though keep in mind that is 31,000 of inventory that I had sold because it's sort of the day selling off shelves. So with that in mind... Mm. Skylar feeling a bit sick. Mm. 758 things, 94,000 bucks. Just all of the things. All of the things plus a bunch of this stuff because I had to increase the minimums because I ran out of frozen things. So I just have like the entire the entire freezer of of each variety so i never had enough for that so we have to order more straight up so that's a that's a couple thousand extra bucks going into that 14 to close and then eldridge can be it's like a mid mid rush hour type guy i guess he doesn't really work till close but i don't know maybe Sure. A lot of talker twos. I need a lot of talker twos, though. You've seen how busy it gets. A lot of people needing help out there. Wild. Really, really wild. And, right, yeah, there's still a little bit of space here. I don't know if I fill that in for marketing or what I do with that exactly. It looks like the back room is... It's okay. It's getting, it's getting a bit full, but... It's okay for now. When we expand grocery and get all that stuff in, it could be that I have to modify. Either modify counts or get more of these guys in. So I might need these two tiles. For now, I guess I leave it. The break room, I, I still think I just get rid of. I'm not convinced marketers are doing a damned thing. The game says it increases reputation. I'm already maxed out reputation-wise, though. Yeah, I... I, I could shrink up the liquor department a little bit and turn it into like a little liquor nook. Give a little bit more room to electronics or just this entire wall. Tunk, one notch over. Could also be so I can get in tablets and stuff and then we'll literally have everything. The table is now clean. I picked up some of the people who were sitting there for God, I don't even know how long because they're decent enough. And nowadays, like even if they're not super duper cheap, I'm still kind of okay with it. I, I need people badly enough that it is what it is. And some of them are coming in right off the uh, right off the table pretty good. That ain't bad at all. We'll put you in for the final education, so then you are done and set. And then we've got also... Shmeel, apparently. Shmeel Roke. <sighs> okay. Uh, was a new hire, very fresh. This one, I believe, had a lemonade stand as a child. Oh, they can be a salesperson. And we've got Hallie, who was, I believe, on the table. She could be register or restocking. I think. Hmm. I think register, maybe, actually. It could be good to keep up on top of register, so I don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, Shantoria, I believe, was on the table as well. Also, kind of register slash sales. I'll give you register, why not? And then Alden. Oops. Alden being restocking, which, not super duper ideal, but I'll take it. We need restockers. I got a lot of stuff to restock. The thing with the restockers, though, is they don't really get a full shift most of the time. So they don't uh, they don't mind working so many days. Their moods and all that are pretty okay. 
But oh well, that's fine. And then he has sales wise. A lot of <laughs> I got I got a third page of salespeople. A third page. Four coming in in the morning. We've got a couple for clothes, three for clothes, I think, and then like one or two mid ish. Yeah, sure. Restocking. Three for opening. Megan to help close. Registers. Three closing. Three opening. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I think I'd like another register, actually. The one? No. Somebody, I think, was just, maybe a Johnny, was just working just like two days because I, I didn't really want them anymore at the time. I think that was maybe Varun, actually, once upon a time, wasn't it? I don't know. Ajani, I'll have you work today. Thursday? Come on in. You can be like a, a mid-type thing, how about? E. Okay. So with that set, education is set, salaries are happy, just have to get some advertisements going again. The big ones. We'll go for... I don't know. What are we looking for, ye? Just, yeah, general, like, a clothing ad. Targeted toward nobody in particular? Shirts. Pants. Um. Shoes. Also, also get some salt. Oh, okay. cry. Four days. Bam. It's expensive doing these. Worth it, though. And then maybe Fashion Land would probably be a good one. Shirts. Pants. I'm not sure if this actually really does anything. At all. <laughs> like, the stuff that you put on. And then Simple Life. Groceries. Food. Look at that salad bowl. My god. That looks delicious. Holy shit. And then... It's simple life, so maybe like, yeah, farmers, pensioners, students, ecologists, well, laborers. Okay, for four days? I could probably go three days, really. Okay, so those are set. Schedule is good. Emails are caught up on. Hiring is taken care of. Expansion-wise, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to end up doing with this, if I expand electronics out a little bit, or or what I do. I think today I'd like to see if I can quickly reorganize liquor, and maybe I can take some of that space for electronics. Because then we could just grocery along the back wall here, and, and yeah. We'll see. See how it goes. I think we're getting to the point, though, there's not a whole lot else I can do. With our customer cap being 300-ish, uh... It all starts to feel very moot. We'll see if uh, there's an upcoming update. I'm not sure what all that's looking at. But we'll see how that is. But I'm not really sure how long this particular store is going to be around after this. Really not sure on that. But worst case, there is also the, the campaign mode to check out, which... I've played around a little bit with it. It's, it's something. It takes a bit of time to get going. It's a lot of working multiple stores as like contract work just to make a bit of money for your corporation. And then your corporation, you buy stores and you, you hire on managers to take care of the store and the hiring and all that while you're away doing other stuff. And it's all a thing. It's It's quite interesting. I'd like to take a look at that. I just noticed I've got a scroll bar beneath beneath my employee rundown. <laughs> I wasn't expecting there to be a scroll bar. It's a nice touch though. They've uh they've thought ahead. That's good. <laughs> I wasn't sure how it would handle it. If it would just like run off the edge of the screen and I'd have to use the filters on the side or what. That's cool that it's uh, a little bit future proof though, so if you end up getting like 80 employees, it's it's ready to handle that. It's got pages and tabs and, and everything set up for that. Frame rate's looking pretty rough nowadays too with all the people coming in. It's uh 
it's definitely struggling a bit. I can't imagine what it would be like if we ended up having like four or five hundred people average, but I'd like to see. I'd like to give it a go and, and try, I just I don't think it's possible currently. I really think that there's like a sort of hard cap going on. I reorganized liquor a little bit. I don't think I can get rid of this wall, but what I can do is get some side shelves on the side of Haywood here, and the shelves can act as the wall, like here-ish. I suppose. The downside of that is the floor is not going to mix together very well. So... Yeah, I don't know what to do about that exactly. We'll have to play around with it and see. I think that'd be easiest though, going forward, taking some of the liquor area away and giving that to electronics so we can fit in tablets, and then we'll have literally every article category in the game. I don't know if that'll do anything for us. Probably not. But, uh, but at least we'll have everything covered. So then it literally doesn't matter. As long as we've got stuff stocked, it literally doesn't matter who we get in or what they are or how many of them there are. It's all all totally fine, you know? Marketers can just market away and maintain rep with everybody, and we can just recommend whatever to anybody, and it's all just... It all balances out that way, you know? Oops. That was a misclick. <laughs> I am so sorry, sir. Uh, shirts. We have shirts. Okay, bye. <laughs> Who was that guy? That's a manager. He doesn't talk to people much. Hmm. Man, clothing, though, is really, really a big one. People love clothing. Hi. They are all about the... Thanks. Somewhat trusting Dion's... Thank you. Got it. Where... Dion? Thank oh, you. there you are. Okay, so he doesn't have it at all. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I was sort of hoping he'd, like, get that side while I get this side and do a little bit of teamwork. Maybe high-five at the end of it? No? No, oh, computers. Laborers and computers? Hmm. I'm sure we got something for him. Yeah, Colden back here looking pretty ravaged, too. Yeah, they really like clothing. I don't know if that's because it's just, like, sort of a new thing, or if they just happen to really like clothing. It is going really well, though. Clothing and electronics seem to be kind of the big, the big two things that we've got. Which is a bit strange, because you'd think it'd be grocery, like the staple goods, you know? The stuff that's really cheap that everybody picks up, but I think just the way that the game works and the way that people buy and shop in this, it, uh, it doesn't work that way. They come in for a single item, and if that item is like a computer or a shirt, then you're in luck. Because one of those selling for a few thousand is pretty sweet. They cost more up front, but uh, you're making like a thousand bucks profit per, which pays for the rent, pays for wages, pays for the shelving. Hey. A lot more than selling, selling flour and stuff would. Because my logic was that if they're buying, if they're buying flour, you bought it for maybe like what? 10, I think. Hey, can you help me? And you sell it for 50. That's five times the markup. So that's big money. But hey, if somebody just comes in and buys one item, they're gonna wish they didn't buy that grocery item and that they bought literally anything hey. else. Because hey. at the end of the day, that's still just 50 bucks that you made, whereas it could have been several hundred for a higher price item. Excuse me. If they come in and they just say, like, you know, Roller Coaster Tycoon style, where they come in and they have, like, you know, 420 bucks to their name, they're here for this and this item, but they're willing to spend more money on other stuff if they see it and it looks appealing, hey, or they get recommended hey, it by the associates, or they had a really good encounter with an associate and they're willing to buy more in your store, that sort of stuff. And then maybe they, yeah, you know, the cheaper items, maybe they throw that on in. So that flower that was 10 bucks to you, it, it still ends up getting sold because they just 
they threw it into the cart. Why not? Mm, a little more happiness. We'll see, though. We'll see what the game ends up doing down the road. They, they seem to be on a pretty okay path. Updates are happening. The game is changing. The focus, I think, for the moment seems to be the career path rather than the single story. This is a little bit like a sandbox type thing. And I don't think this mode is getting a whole lot of attention, but as the game overall changes, this will be impacted as well. So looking forward to seeing what that does. But I'm I'm thinking in the very near future, this store might have to just sort of sit and we wait for updates and we see we see what comes and what happens. Because for the moment I think we're like at the end. I don't see it getting a whole lot better than this, unless I just completely revamp the entire store and I say, we are just pure electronics, and we just make a shitload of money that way. But I don't really want to do that. I really want to have just like a big supermarket store type thing where you just, everything is there. Customer shop for like half the day. Basket size of like 20 items. And I want to, I want to really get the mall feeling here. And right now I just can't quite do that, and I don't know if that's ever going to be possible. <laughs> Holy shit, look, we're totally sold out back here, man. They love this area. It's super good. Holy crap. Frozen, frozen, much like liquor. There's so many, so many items of the same category here. I don't think we're ever going to run out of material there for them. Clothing's a bit rough because we've just got like, you know, shoes wise, we've got what, 5, 10, 15, 20, so like 80 there. Thank you. If we were to compare, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 14, 21, 20, almost 30, it's like two of these it kind of sort of compares to this entire wall of shoes that we've got. It's just so much more condensed over there. So I think it's. It, it kind of goes back to the customers coming in for just like, I'm here for one article, and they choose like clothing or something like that. It makes a much bigger footprint that way. Um, not really sure how to explain it, but like if they take if they take their their one salt off of the shelf, that's not really going to be noticed at all. But if you take one computer off the shelf, because that takes up so much space, it looks like we're selling electronics way more than we really are because it leaves a massive hole when one customer takes one thing from it so i guess there's that to keep in mind too like liquor also is another good example liquor it, lo it looks like it's just never selling here but it is it's just we have so so many articles there <laughs> you'll never notice and then I don't know if the restockers get back here or not. I'd imagine so. The minimum should be all okay, though. It's set up in much the same way. Well, it looked like a good day. Um, we came in with like 40,000 bucks or so. We had a bit of a frame rate issue early on. I'm thinking we got maybe 340, 350 customers. I'm thinking. More than normal. But not quite as we've once had before with like 360, 380. I'm going to say like 340. That's what I'm going to say. Let's see about changing the facade again, too. Okay, 348, 324 customers. Not great. Not bad. Not great, though. The hit rate, 93. Article sold over 1,000. Basket size, 3. That's good. That's really good. Average sale, 564 bucks and 90 cents. Projected profits, just under 140,000. It's good. We're making the money. Lots and lots and lots of it. And then here's the E3 thing. Techies increased during the four day event. Going to cancel the first one here because it's lowest. We're going to see about getting, I guess, daily news. A big fat electronics. Computers. 
mobile devices. We're going to get a big techie, actually. A big techie on the side here. And then I can see about, yeah, mobile devices down here. Oh, yeah. Another computer's there. And then a bit of food. Yeah. Okay. So that might help with getting some folks in for E3 and all that. And then the wall here can go. <laughs> Takes a while. I clicked it. Ah. <laughs> Takes so long. And we can see about getting... It's some, I'll probably move the register and have just another shelf there for that. We've still got this big wall, too, that, that could be electronics, technically. Could be more grocery. I haven't decided yet. We got ideas. Oh, God. Even not doing anything here, it's still... <laughs> yeah, return. Get me out of here. It still takes so long, even if I didn't do anything. Uh, we got We got options for expansion, though. No problems there. Because yeah, all this all this space, like I could scoot. Because we're still calling this wall. We're still calling this electronics. So if I pick up another big shelf. I could almost get two in there. Almost. Paste that over. No, no, no. Spin you around. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's not too cramped, is it? There's enough room. I mean, the, the, the trouble is, can customers easily fit? is the big thing. But we got a bit more space there now for uh, tablets on both sides. Yeah, that, that, that could work out. Oops. If I have you here. Uh, you know, that might not be too bad just having it like back here a bit. It's a little bit in the middle of liquor, but it's not too terrible. And only just overlapped. Is there any space at all that we can squeeze out of here? Because then the register will be like right on the floor change. It'll look really nice. Just squeeze it in there. Yeah, because the customer comes up and then they go well, and leave and I don't want them getting stuck up on the shelf and any customers that are browsing the shelf. But okay, look at that. It's it's basically right on the line. I'll, I'll, I'll call that on the line. It's good enough. I <laughs> don't know if I can get it much closer. And I would like to point out, while I say that I think we, we park this save... And, and we wait for some updates to see what happens. I'd like to emphasize that I'm not done with this game. Not by a long shot. I, I kind of equate it to be a little bit like Software Inc. Where it's one of those where we have we have a business that, that goes really, really well. And we get to a point where it's like, there's not a whole lot else to do here. So we wait a bit and we come back to it another day after some updates have come out. And we check out what's changed and we start again and, and all that. It could be, depending on what changes, that we might just continue this business to get into it a lot faster. Could also be that we start over. It could be that we start over and I edit through a bunch of the beginning uh, business until we actually get to a point where it, we're not just like some kiosk somewhere. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll just have to see what changes and, and what ends up happening. But I think I think definitely it's getting to the point where it's running its course and there's not a whole lot else happening here. We've we've grown the store 
hugely. I've basically filled out the map. I've gotten an entire army of people hired. Hey, got a second? We've reached sort of an unfortunate cap with the, the customers that doesn't seem to really be moving or budging a whole lot over the long term. Thank and I don't know what to do for that. I just, I don't know, don't know what else to go for. Hey, got so we're relying on updates to, to see what else there is to experience. So I, I think, I think we shelf this and we come back to it, but I'm going to keep a very, very, very close eye on it. And uh, if, if any big updates happen, take a look, I'll take a look. I think they're focusing a little bit though on the, the career mode, which we could definitely take a look at, but Again, there's a lot of grind in that, because yeah, it's you get a store and it's like, oh, I want you to to make 1.5 million dollars turnover selling just this brand, and you have to sell 2,000 articles of specifically this brand, and it's just like, all right, well, I'll stock this brand, and we just next day, next day, next day, next day. <laughs> it's just a lot of that, which ain't bad, but it gets kind of old kind of fast. And with some editing, it's not too bad, but it takes a lot of time out of my day doing that. So, not hugely looking forward to it right this moment, but eventually we'll probably be doing that. Because it sounds interesting running multiple businesses, because yeah, you, you, you get money through the contracts that you spend to buy lots or rent lots, and you build up the stores there. And you just do, well, this part of the game with a store. And then when it gets nice and happy, you hire on a manager and they take control and you pop in periodically to check and see how it's doing every once in a while while you move on to a different store and you end up making just oodles and boodles of money. Eventually, ideally, assuming it all goes well. I'd like to take a look at it, but not now. What the hell happened over here? Did I just restock this? My god. Alright. Thank you. Hey, got a second? It's a bit strange the pathfinding here at this register. Hey, got a second? <laughs> it works. I guess. They're out of the way. But man, that is that is bizarre. Walking out and around behind Medi to leave. <laughs> That is pretty weird, but as long as it works, I'm all right with it. Oh, what a big purchase, 1600, man, what a guy. Nice, I think we'll uh, we'll finish up the weekend maybe to see how this E3, th E3 thing does over the weekend and see what we can get our customer numbers up to. But, uh... Yeah, 390, 348. Frame rate was a little bit iffy throughout most of the day, but not too bad, honestly, though. It was totally playable. I wouldn't mind having that as just like the normal thing. Average sale 801, basket size 2, article sold 993, 89% hit rate. Yeah, a lot more techies and people buying the computers, so the, um, the averages went up a lot. What the hell? Okay, sick and missing a course, and Stefan <laughs> wants a raise. Yeah, sure. So what do we got for tablets? Tablets look to be largely a luxury item. Pretty hugely. Some high, high blue and luxury. And then these are just a bit high with everything. And then some green and luxury. Oh my god, some green and luxury there too. Holy shit. Alright, and then kind of like a little babby basic one. If if such a thing exists. Not sure if there is. I don't think one does. So we'll say... I don't know. Eight of each? Not sure how these fit on the shelf. We'll say eight of each. $230,000. Was eight of each a really bad idea? Oh god, yeah, a little bit. 
Yikes. See how it goes. 103,000 bucks left to our name. We got the, the E3 thing happening throughout the weekend. The employee and all that is fine. People are trained. Wages are done. Ads are going. I think we're set. Could be a big day. Could be a really big day. You know, and it might not be a bad idea. Yeah, I can't put anything there. Might be a good idea to change the windows over to something that's uh, electronics focused when the, when an event like this is going on. Just draw more of them in. Wonder if that'd make much of a difference to get us over 300. Tablets. So how does this fit? Yeah, not very well. It's a bit like the headsets. But... That means that I can throw them there. And then also here as a secondary spot. Thanks. Yeah, I think all that's fine. Not that we have like crazy extras. Yeah, just three by three. Just a a wild mix. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that catch in your eye. Okay. Can you help me? So that's those. And with that, I think that's every article category in the game, in this store. And of some of those categories, I think I have like every single frozen food item there is. I think we got that covered. I think some of the some of the grocery stuff are pretty close on having everything. There's a couple like styles that I don't have, I suppose, but Got quite a lot here. Hey. Not bad. I'm liking the look of this. <laughs> look at all the people coming on in. This traffic flow. Ah, oh, it's good. I've been stuck in this corner for a little while just helping people. It's a little bit non-stop. I'm here. I can help. Just been suggesting like the phones and mobile devices to get the tablet. Oops, need up there. Would never consider buying that. Well, let me tell you. Excuse me. What are you even doing here? Hanging out in the electronics when you're being like, Oh, I would never consider buying any of this. <laughs> oh, you come here just to shit on it? Get out of here. Excuse me. Look, the buttons match your jacket. You'll love this. It's perfect for you. I have one at home. Keep it between us, okay? Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, good Hi. there. Eldridge, grats. He's leveled. Mobile devices. You can tell the frame rate's getting kind of... kind of yucky. This is... I think this is going to be a f like a 430 day. Maybe even 440. You want soup? How, well, how about some of that way out there? Would never consider it. Well, let me tell you. It's good shit over there, right? I don't ever see anybody buying that. Nobody's ever hanging out around it. There's nothing wrong with organics. It's a good brand. They do good work. That's good fish. Go get it. What's happening over here? Someone getting stabbed? Sounds like a stabbing. Excuse me. Don't want much to do with that. Holy shit. Liquor's flying out of here. I wonder where my stalkers are at. What are they doing? They're holding secret meetings beneath the uh, beneath the shelving units and all the looking around out there for you. I'm keeping my eye on you. I see you over there. Thanks. I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> How many we got? Oh, only two. Mm. Thought we had five at this hour. Whoops. Because I wanted to make sure we were set up for tomorrow. Hey. Oh well. Oh my god, is it over yet? Man, my finger's getting tired with all the clicking. I helped so many people today. I think I deserve a raise. I should I should talk to Mr. Pepper and see what, what we can do about that. Man oh man. Hey, can you help it? Well, it's a good day. We're only just over 300,000, which seems a little bit light. I don't know what we came in with. I feel like we didn't sell as many big ticket items as 
I feel like we should have. Ah, God damn it! But there were a lot of people in today. I think maybe f 432. Thanks. No. 433. I'm gonna say 433 mm, visitors we had today. Hey, have a minute. With like 390 customers. That's what I'm gonna say. Because it felt like one of our busier days that we've ever had. Hi, Holy shit, Mr. Pepper's about to shoot someone. <laughs> oh, wait, is that even Mr. Pepper? Yeah, I think so. Ooh -wah. And yeah, I've not even really taken a look at grocery. I have no idea if the minimums are okay here or what. <laughs> Zero clue. It looks like it's okay. End of the day, there's still a few things full. I'm gonna say we're all right here. I never get a chance to go over to this side of the store. It's rough. Whoa. Can't say, magazine ads during events. Very, very good. Highly recommend. Yeah, only 306. Wow, okay, 456 visitors, 415 customers, 91% hit rate. Average sale was pretty good, too. I don't know, I just didn't feel like we got much money. 179,000. Didn't really feel like it. And then, Megan wanting a raise. Didn't I just give you a raise? Mm. No, I... I just hired you, I think, actually. Why are you already wanting to raise? Whatever. Whatever. Fine. 74. Jeez. Yeah, you gotta earn your stripes first, I think. Bit of rep increase? That's nice. Yeah, yeah. Rep increase? Uh, I'll go for... Yeah, shit. Should have gone for a special price, but oh well. A bit of speed's always good. Restocking speed, god yes, please. And then restocking risk. Um, Get rid of the risk a bit more. I don't hear too many grunts, but I do hear them periodically. Okay. So that's that. Restocking then, a lot of people opening, and then some throughout. Okay, so closing-wise, it's a bit empty, but that's fine. Sales. Looking good. Registers. Yeah, it's a bit much. How about that? Okay, that's enough for closing. Yeah, sure, that'll be aight. And then Jalil doing the marketing still. I had to check and see what the hell they're doing with marketing. Okay, yeah, 176,000 at the end of the day after ordering and everything. So yeah, that was still, still good. 65,000 profit after everything is said and done. Not bad. It just didn't, just didn't like money-wise look like we were doing too great compared to the other days. Thanks. Thank you. Hey, got us. Thanks. Can you help me? Hey. Excuse hey. me. A little hey. help. Can you help me? Hey. Thanks. Have a minute. Hey. Have a minute. Hi. Spare two seconds. <laughs> I think today was even more than yesterday. That was intense. That was like constant, constant low frame rate. Always people all around me in electronics looking for help. It was just surround sound. <laughs> hey, have a minute? Everywhere. Oh, God, it was so much. This dude's about to fucking Thanks. leave. But take a break. Thank you. Holy shit. Poor Dion. Or maybe, maybe Eric? Yeah, I think Eric. Yeah, it's Eric. 
Eric's about to shoot people. Let's go home, man. Get out of here. <laughs> it's, too, it's too much. Too many people. It's too stressed. It, the cashiers are at wit's end, too, some of them. Yeah, today was intense. This was like... Maybe over 480. Bam, get out of here. Shoot. <laughs> Sometimes I do that with the, uh, especially if they're like, oh, that's really interesting. And it just like right away, just like, bam, seal the deal. All their patience strains on into the uh, the other bars. And sometimes it works out. Sometimes. Not often. Maybe like 40% of the time. So how were we today? I'm thinking it was more than yesterday. Even our funds are looking really good. No, actually. The fuck? All right. Felt really busy. 426, 380 customers. About 89% hit rate. Sold over 1,000 articles. 2.7 basket size. Average sale, $677.69. Nice. 197,000 projected profits before reordering. Reordering going to cost about 90,000, I would imagine. No, 148,000. Holy shit. Really? You kidding me? And then people wanting big time wages. Yikes. Okay. I thought we had significantly more than that. But hey. I think though I I hold off here. I'll give people education. Give them the talents. Give them the wages. But I think we wait here a minute. See what this upcoming update is? That's sort of around the corner. I don't really know when the date is exactly for it. But there's one in the works. We'll see what that is. And I'm thinking then we, uh, we maybe pick this back up then. Or if it's not really that much of an update, slash it's for the campaign, more so than like this free play thing. In that case, then we maybe just wait a bit longer and see what happens down the road. Worst, worst case, I can go ahead and do a career mode type thing, but I'm going to wait a little bit before doing that because I don't really feel like starting that up right now. I'm done up for, uh, for starting over and doing contract stuff and stuff. I want to get day off. Gross. Esther, Skylar, Alden, Eldridge. Yeah, I'm just I'm not really too keen on starting over with the with the contract stuff right now. So we'll wait for updates and see what happens. I, I really like this game though. This is probably one of my favorite games in recent time. This is really good. I, I super duper like the direction it's heading. I I hope it continues to scale up and do more and more and more. Rather than just add in more articles. I already forgot who I was looking for. Eldridge needed a raise, didn't he? At the very end there, I was looking for oh yeah, Skylar, but yeah, also Eldridge. Because yeah, I, I really wanted to just have like a big mega mall type thing that I get set up one day, multiple stories, and we can have like an overlook and and all that, and all these departments along the side, and just. Employees and associates everywhere. That's what I want. The performance would be pretty bad, though, in its current state. That's true. But we'll see. You never know. You never know. If anybody is familiar with the game that at least loosely plays similar to this, do let me know. I'm definitely up for more stuff like this. 100%. This was a really good time. And I want more. <laughs> I want more of it. I love the management aspect of everything. 